I think poetry is one of the most valuable thinking tools we have because it has so many levels in it. it it's like any voice uh, has a whole range of wavelengths in it. You get an entire timbre. Uh, it, each note is like a chord, so we, we get physical reactions, we get emotional echoes and, and responses, we get all the ghosts of old stories in the culture, we get personal memories, and of course we get logical meaning as well. We get everything that using sound and metaphor bring in, all these, these ways of embodying both what we're talking about and especially place because place by its nature is a physical thing it's all around us we touch it we walk on it we breathe it it speaks to us in in in, in wind and and sound of water i don't believe there are any easy answers about environmental issues but we need all of that human information before we can think straight. Sluice Angel Low tide at the sea lock A forty foot drop to muddy shallows One boat's width of channel that the dredger grubs up daily Silt to one side, scored in circles where they dragged for don't ask what. The tall shut doors of the hall of the world, at which the weight of water of incipience does not need to knock. Feel it there, like a shudder of difference, the engine of change. Now, almost soundless, hinges shift With a gradual calibrated rip like a concord of lathes With a crypt smell, two green-grey-brown stiffening blades of water fold in They curve, feathering themselves in free fall Wings flexed, shuddering not to soar, but to pour themselves down, to earth the charge, liquid, solid as rock and untouchable, trouncing itself to a froth, to exhaustion. Till with a sigh, the gates can open, and the world, our world, small craft come through